The title of today's lesson is Arithmetic with Units of Measure. In this lesson, we will practice adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing units of measure. We may add or subtract measurements that have the same units. If the units are not the same, we first convert one or more measurements so that the units are the same, then we can add or subtract. Let's take a look at sample one. In sample one, example number one, we have two feet plus 12 inches. Let's add it both ways. First, we'll convert both measurements to feet. Example number two. In example number two, we're going to figure out the area of the shape. The first thing we have to realize is that this shape is a two by three figure. So essentially, we're multiplying two times three and we're also multiplying centimeters times centimeters. Well, two times three is easy, that's six, and then centimeters times centimeters equals centimeters squared. So we're gonna have to understand that this measurement might be one centimeter, two centimeters, like so, each one being a centimeter up the side here, and we're changing the unit into square centimeters. So now we have two square centimeters. So that's how you change the units there. Example number three. Same idea. We have seven times eight and feet times feet and we end up with 56 square feet or feet squared. Understanding once again that we're taking a linear measurement, one foot, and we're changing it into a square measurement one square foot. Example number four. Here we're going to take a look at how units can change when we divide measurements. For example, if you know the area of a rectangle and the length of a rectangle, you can find the width of the rectangle by dividing. So in this case we have 56 square feet, which would be feet times feet divided by 8 feet. So we can start dividing. 56 divided by 8 is 7. We can cancel off the feet here and we end up with 7 feet. So in this case we took the square unit of feet 56 in this figure down below and we changed it into a linear foot for the side, so we have seven down the side here. Example number five. Here we have the same type of thing. So we have 25 miles times miles divided by five miles. And we end up with five miles. Understanding again that we took square miles and changed it into linear miles. Example number six. In this case, you can see we have two different units of measure. We have miles and we have a time measurement of hours. So in this example, you have miles on the top and you have six hours on the bottom. So essentially this is saying in 300 miles, in six hours you travel 300 miles, and we can't cancel here because the units are different. So we just do the math, which would be 50 miles per hour. Number seven, example number seven. 
same concept. We have one measurement, miles, and another measurement, gallons, on the bottom. So we can do our math here. We end up with 30 miles per gallon. On to practice. Pause the video, solve these practice problems, come back when you're done. Okay, on to practice checking. I uh, take a look at the first one. They wanted us to write the answer in inches. So we converted two feet to 24 inches. 24 minus 12 is 12 inches. And in our next one, we had feet times feet. So two times four is eight, and we get eight square feet. Again, taking linear feet and changing it into square feet. Uh, number three, or letter C here. Uh, we have 12 square centimeters. So centimeters times centimeters. We can do the math. 12 divided by three is four. We cancel out the centimeters and we end up with four linear centimeters. And on letter D, we have two different units of measure. So we really can't cancel out there. 300 divided by five is 60. You end up with 60 miles per hour. You got all those right. Those are very tough today. Give yourself 100%. Nice job.